for your life. Helping you live your very best life with the latest health, lifestyle, and finance information you and your family can use. Join Brent Bishop and Anita Verma as they bring you everyday tips for everyday living with expert information you can rely on. Coming up on today's show, a look at the latest camera that captures your experiences and memories with a simple click of a button. How to make the transition from a spacious suburban home to cozier city living, simple and stylish. An in-studio visit setting the record straight on the various types of insulation for your home and so much more. Welcome to For Your Life. Thank you for joining us. I'm Anita Verma. And I'm Brent Bishop. Hi Brent, how are you? I'm good, you're looking pretty spring-like today. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm so <laughs> excited about what we have planned for today. We have a slew of informative stories, guests, and tips that you are not gonna wanna miss out on. That's right, a jam-packed half hour of all access to some of the lifestyle products that are trending. Brent, sometimes I wish I had more time. Don't you feel like that? I'm always playing catch up, always. Okay. Especially since the weather's getting so much better, you know, the days are getting longer. I'm always looking for ways to set aside time for my friends, my family, and just, you know, me time. You're right, Anita. Sometimes it seems like there's not enough hours in the day to complete everything I got on my list. And that's why I'm always looking for products that can save me time. Totally. Now, this episode has come about in the nick of time. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> the products we'll feature today suggest ways of being efficient with the time you have so the free moments of your day can be better spent doing what you really enjoy. Hmm. Do you remember those cameras back in the day where you had to go out and buy a roll of film? Absolutely. And then you'd have to take your pictures and then get them developed in a photo center in a dark room? Okay, it's crazy how far cameras have come in the last few decades. Can you remember when those people with shaky hand syndrome would come back with blurry vision yeah, pictures yeah. or those red eyes? I, I love those cameras. Okay, me too. But you're right, the pictures when you get them, you know, you've, you've either made it out of focus or the, the flash didn't go off or something like that and you can't really use half of them. Exactly, so then what do you do with those pictures? It can be. Well, I'm one of those people who's usually running around at the event snapping those pictures, so I'm that camera happy gal. I bet you're the blurry picture guy, aren't you? <laughs> you got me there. You got me there. Okay, well, I remember being so excited when the quality of cameras and cell phones improved. Do you remember when that happened? Uh -huh. Because you didn't have to lug around your camera and your cell phone anymore. It's just instant. S stick them all in your purse or those, you know, big pockets that you have there. And I used to usually forget one or the other. Yeah, it's frustrating. Can be. So with the explosion of social networking over the last couple of years, there's really been an emphasis on photo sharing, mm -hmm. which is what we all love to do. You know, those picture parties that we uh -huh. used to have. Um, but capturing those lasting moments can be tough with many people relying on those shoddy cell phone yeah. cameras. Yeah. Well, Toronto blogger Gloria Chick knows this all too well and has a solution for those that want to capture the moments that matter. Very cool. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gloria Chick and I'm a Toronto-based blogger. Capturing my days and travels is so important to me. I'm constantly updating my Facebook, Twitter, as well as my blog, and always looking for interesting shots to shoot and share. I was lucky enough to get my hands on this little camera from Canon called the PowerShot N. It's small, about the size of a compact, and can fit directly into my purse. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna show you St. Lawrence Market and show you what this can do. I know that a lot of people think their phone is good enough for photos, but cell phone cameras aren't the best tools for capturing your memories. Don't be fooled by megapixels, it's actually the sensor that matters. Smartphones have tiny sensors and that limits the amount of light they capture. Those grainy and blurry photos that you tend to take with smartphones really aren't an issue with this camera. It's got a great sensor that's super sensitive to light so I can take perfect photos indoors or when I'm out at night. I like to think of myself as being a creative individual, but some of my friends have a better eye for photography than I do. They just seem to find a great, interesting perspective or composition that I just might miss. The PowerShot N has a wicked creative shot mode. When I press the shutter once, the camera snaps and creates six totally different shots. It doesn't just apply a filter to the pictures, the camera actually analyzes the shot, looks at the subject, what else is in the shot, and what elements it can isolate. Then it switches focus points, applies various filters, and crops the shots differently. So even if I take another shot, it actually produces five separate images. So I don't really have to recrop it or put any additional filters onto it before I post it online. Let's have a look. Ah, yeah.
This camera's Wi-Fi feature lets me use my phone to upload and post on my Facebook or Twitter account. It complements my smartphone perfectly. More than ever, photography keeps me connected to my friends, my family, and my readers. It's how I express myself and tell my story. I use this camera because it captures all of the moments that count. My work takes me all around the city and capturing the size is an important part of my job. Whether at a fashion show or capturing great street style shots, I always need visuals. Smartphones don't have optical zoom, but this Canon does, eight times optical zoom. That means I can get close to a distant subject without physically needing to walk up closer and take the shot. The zoom control and shutter are built into the shutter ring, allowing for quick and easier access to snap a photo or zoom in and out. I've learned over the years that angles are important too, and this flip screen lets me see my subject from high and low angles, allowing me to get that memorable shot. My friends share my passion for photography, and this little camera has them excited too. Wanna take a look at some of these? Yeah. Oh my gosh. St. Lawrence so, Lauren's so right large. Here. I love it. Wow, the color's great. That is I awesome. love that effect. Yeah. So you put yeah. it on creative shot. And it takes six totally different shots. So I don't really oh, have to nice. pick That's and choose. So cool. Yeah, and it adds those filters, so literally you can put it right up. Okay, online. that was Instagram that was ready. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> it really does think for you, I really agree. This camera is definitely different from anything else on the market, and that's what makes it so cool, and really what's created such a buzz at CES earlier this year. So next time you go out, toss the camera into your bag or your pocket, and if you don't have one, pick up a cool one like this one from Canon. Coming up on For Your Life, looking at creative ways to make the transition from a larger home to a smaller apartment or condo seamless and stress-free. So Brent, as you know, I recently moved from the suburbs to the city. Yay! Congratulations, by the way. Thank you, I love it. But the challenge I'm having is getting used to the space restrictions. Everything is so confined. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm a suburbs guy and you know that. Right. Listen, I don't know how you do it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love going out to the city, uh -huh. and visiting friends, going to a show. But when I get back home, I have my space and the peace and quiet is priceless. Listen, I can relate and I hear that all the time from my friends who still live in the suburbs. You know, they have more space like you. You know, you've got a backyard, a big home for your kids and your puppies to run around in. But for those like me who work in the city, it yeah. just makes sense to live downtown. I don't want to spend so much time commuting in traffic and sitting on public transit. All I do is I simply get ready, hop out of the shower, walk up my front door and boom. I'm at work, yeah. no time flat. I guess. I mean, you have a point there, but you, you can't argue the fact that there's benefits in living in the suburbs. I agree. Okay, yeah. I'll give that to you. <laughs> you're right. But it really does depend on your lifestyle, right? So, yeah, true. Okay, you're going to think this is a little strange. And I don't know where this came from. Should I be concerned before you speak? <laughs> Hear me out. Since I became an urban dweller, I have this obsession with cleaning and vacuuming in particular. You know what? I totally get that. Really? I, I love cleaning. I find it very therapeutic. Yes, Absolutely. exactly. So I'm not the only weirdo here. Yeah, we're both I love weird. It. <laughs> Welcome to your life. Yes. Um, well, here's the thing. I love it, but I get into a little bit of a pickle because when I'm trying to clean around my furniture, I'm always bumping into things because yeah. of the space restrictions. Now, don't even get me started on where to store my bulky vacuum. It's got its own view of the lake on my patio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, lucky for you, Christy Stewart has some helpful tips to make vacuuming less of a challenge in any space and a solution for your storage dilemma. Oh, can't wait. Does the thought of commuting into the city for work or school make you cringe? Have you had enough of daily traffic nightmares and transit delays? For many, living in the city center is simply about convenience. So what does it mean to live in a bustling metropolis? Well, the four-bedroom, two-car garage of the suburbs may be hard to come by. These days, you'd be hard-pressed to find spacious homes and sprawling yards downtown. Many people are looking for a highly desirable place to live closer to work and play. Ideally, the ability to step outside the doors to do the things they love in a timely and convenient manner. However, the transition from a larger family home to living in a smaller space may require changing your mindset and expectations. 
The size of the average Canadian condo runs approximately 900 square feet, taking into consideration furniture, sporting equipment, children and pet needs, etc. Generally, there's not a lot of room left to spread your wings. Stacy Booskill has recently moved into this downtown townhouse where she's had to develop clever ways to make her small space work for her needs. From downsizing to condo-friendly sized furniture to doing away with buying in bulk, Stacy says she had to look at different ways to simplify her life. I found it really hard in the beginning to adjust to my smaller space, but I've come up with some clever ideas to help adjust to my limitations, one of which has really helped my cleaning. This lightweight Electrolux Ergo Rapido stick and hand vac is great for quick cleanups on bare floors. It's way more compact than my previous vacuum, is bagless, and stores easily, which is great for my small space. But the best part is that with the touch of a button, the brush roll clean technology gets rid of any hair that's been lodged in the brush roll. So I don't even have to resort to using scissors. Now I don't have to spend as much time cleaning up after my pet who sheds a lot. With new advances in technology, like the Electrolux Ergo Rapido Brush Roll Clean, cleaning any space, including an especially small, tight space, is easy. Carefree cleaning and no strings attached, the contemporary design is powerful, lightweight and maneuverable. The first self-cleaning brush roll design of its kind, the Electrolux Ergo Rapido Brush Roll Clean Stick and Hand Vac features, two-in-one cleaning convenience, a combination stick and hand vacuum cleans bare floors, countertops, and upholstery with ease. No more scissors. With exclusive brush roll clean technology, any pat and human hair that accumulates on the brush roll is instantly removed and whisked to the dust cup by the press of a button. Easy cleaning anywhere. Clean around and under low furniture with a 180 degree swivel head. The brush roll is designed for bare floor and area rub cleaning, LED headlight, illuminate your path, long run time, up to 20 minutes run time on normal speed with 12 volts of power, no hold power button, just press and clean. Other simple tips on how to maximize your space include using mirrors. They fool the eye by making small spaces appear larger or consider multi-purpose furniture. Ottomans and benches are great storage solutions. And don't forget about shelving options. They're great for maximizing vertical space, leaving you with an open floor plan. Organizing any space can be a challenge, but smaller spaces can be trickier. For more helpful tips and ideas, visit electrolux.ca. Still ahead, allergies got you down? At a loss for remedies that will help you breathe easier? Well, Anita and Brent will be joined in studio by a special guest who has some interesting insights on what could be causing your allergic breakouts. Welcome back to For Your Life. Have you ever been to one of those home shows? You know, the ones with a bunch of vendors, color experts, and home models that are fully decorated? Yes, I have, and I wish that I could decorate my space like some of those vignettes. They always have the right furniture and decor in every single room, and whenever I talk to any of the designers, they always make it seem so easy. <laughs> Why is it that when I walk into a decor store, I always feel so lost? I just can't seem to look at furniture pieces and see how or even if they'd fit into my home. I right, listen, I totally know what you mean. I wanna paint my house, but I don't know where to start at all. You know, the other day I was in a paint store, I was surrounded by paint chips, and I was completely overwhelmed. I just left the place. It'd be so frustrating. Yeah. You know, I don't know how the professionals do it. You know, this color has to match with that color, and then you have to take in consideration the color of your furniture. It's I crazy. Know. I know. <laughs> paint choices are actually really important decisions. They really do set the tone for any room, whether it's your bedroom or your office. And I know how it is to stare at a big, blank, empty wall just wishing it would paint itself. And the cost of painting your entire house and the time it takes to paint it. Look, I don't want to start from scratch just because I chose the wrong color. Mm -hmm. you know, it's stressful. <laughs> yeah, it can be. Well, you're not alone, my friend. So many homeowners feel the exact same way, I'm sure. But Tony Larson says that first determining the way you like your space to feel makes choosing your paint colors a breeze. Let's have a look. Choosing the right color for your walls is a big decision. It has to match your furniture, decor, style, floors, and other rooms in the home. And you don't want to put all that effort into painting only to realize you chose wrong. So, how can we make this decision easier for you? How about with tips from the experts, Andrea on color and Dee on design? There are two concepts to consider when you're choosing a paint color for your room. 
One, you may have a blank palette to work with, meaning you have no furniture, fabric, or wallpaper in the room. In that case, you can choose any color that meets your needs. You may choose off-white, beiges, or blues. But most of us don't have that luxury. We have fabric, wallpaper, and window treatments, so when you're selecting a color, you need to make sure that that wall color best ties it all together and makes the room feel cohesive and usable. Next, you wanna keep a consistent color palette if your rooms are open and connected. If you have a long room or irregular walls, paint a cool color on the long wall and a warm color on the narrow walls to make the room more balanced. Once you've decided on a color scheme for your design project, a helpful tool like the Pittsburgh Paints Voice of Color program has some great innovative color tools. The Harmony chips are five color combinations on a single chip that pull not just the wall color in, but the fabric and flooring and tile and bedding. These are great starting points because these Harmony chips were selected by trend forecasters for colors that we're seeing in the textile market. Then take those samples and colors that you like and then test them on your own walls with your own lighting against your own furniture and your own window treatments. Do not, however, hold them up against a white wall. Instead, put them next to your furniture, window treatments, and cabinets to see how the color reacts because that's how the painted wall will be once the project's finished. And also, test in various light conditions throughout the day because light changes the way color looks and sometimes even a beige can look pink in the evening light. So you wanna be sure you got just the perfect color. Once you've decided on the color, a popular decorative technique is to use tone-on-tone -tone coloring or layering. This takes a single or a few colors and uses a different saturation of each. You can dramatically transform a room by just lightening or darkening the shade. Now color doesn't always have to be colorful, but white should always be intentional and not used as a default color. To help make your decision easier when choosing the perfect white, use a tool like the PPG Voice of Color Whites card to help you choose between pure, tinted, creamy, or refined whites because those are definitely different colors. If you're looking for an area in your house to really let personality and color make an impact, powder rooms are the perfect place. Experiment with reds and blacks and dark grays and even a sharp pink to make a statement and have some fun. For more color and design tips, or to find inspiration for your own home, visit voiceofcolor.com. Looking to update your vehicle? Unsure of all your options? The Kidney Foundation of Canada has an idea for giving new life to your not-so-new car. Welcome back. Since spring has arrived, I'm having a lot of trouble dealing with my allergies. I'm constantly sneezing and rubbing my eyes. Some days they really take over and make it a challenge to accomplish everything I need to do. Today's a good day, though. That's good. I know what you mean. I mean, you can hear it with my voice. Yes, I can. <laughs> but have you ever tried any home remedies? Yes, I've tried numerous home remedies and nothing seems to work. I've tried everything from drinking various herbal teas to humidifiers, even ripping out all of the carpet in my home. I'm starting to feel like there aren't any options left. You know, someone actually even said to me, just stay indoors all the time. But I can't stay inside and miss out on all the beautiful weather and life. And honestly, my allergies are no better when I'm inside the house either. You know, I was gonna say, if that's the case, maybe your allergies are due to something else completely. You know, a friend of mine told me that the insulation, depending on the type of insulation in your home, it can actually cause problems with your allergies. Insulation, like in your house? Insulation in your house. Wow. And then he said spray foam insulation actually helps you breathe easier in your home uh, by reducing some of the pollutants and allergens that can come in inside. Wow, that actually makes a lot of sense yeah. because sometimes my allergies seem to get worse when I'm inside the house and I often have trouble sleeping too. Well, Mark Scott gives us a look on how spray foam can actually help. Airborne allergens and pollutants can disrupt your daily life, especially for those suffering from breathing problems such as asthma and seasonal allergies. And with spring right around the corner, the potential for increased irritation is heightened. Sufferers will seek relief any way they can, but many believe it's safer if they remain indoors. Pollutants and airborne allergens can penetrate even the smallest gaps, and when combined with airborne moisture, the potential for breathing problems rises. With Canadians spending roughly 90% of their time indoors, improving air quality is worth the investment. 
One solution that can help improve indoor air quality is spray foam insulation. The modern material works to insulate and air seal homes by expanding up to 100 times its size, filling any cracks, crevices, and gaps within the building's envelope. It's these air sealing qualities that work to help minimize potential of airborne irritants from entering the home. Spray foam insulation does more than just help alleviate respiratory distress. It also works to provide constant indoor thermal comfort, as well as reducing heating and cooling bills. With the right insulation, you can help your family breathe easier. For more information, visit icyneen.com. Well, it's clear insulation can serve many purposes in your home. But with so many types of insulations on the market, how do you choose the right one? Well, Betsy Cosper, VP of Marketing at Isonine Inc. is here today to give us the ins and outs on insulation for your home. Tell us, Betsy, what's the difference between spray foam insulation and other forms of traditional insulation? Well, there's many differences and there's a couple of key advantages to spray foam insulation versus traditional insulation. One of the main advantages is that you get an air seal when you have spray foam insulation in your home. And what that means is that air doesn't leak out of your home. With traditional insulation, you have gaps and cracks when it's installed and over time and the air can leak out and that's energy leaking out of your home. So when you use a product like um, our product, spray foam insulation, you can save up to 50% on your energy bill. Wow, sounds like a really efficient form of insulation. How does it work? Oh, it really is. Well, I brought a demo along with me that I'd like to show you just to give you an idea of what I mean by air sealing. Perfect. So if uh, what we have here is really kind of a look at three different houses. Yeah. And in the first one, we're showing cellulose. In the center, you see spray foam insulation, our yeah. insulation. And in the third one, we see fiberglass. So what can you see that's different with the isonine? Well, it looks like there's nothing, there's no air coming out of it. That's right. It's like going it's through it. The air yeah. seals. And when wow. you think about it, so what we have is a fan on the bottom that's just pushing a little bit of air through this machine. And look at how much air is escaping through cellulose as well as the fiberglass. So that basically just shows you right there the differences between energy efficiency. It does. Yeah. This is energy flowing right out of your house. Thanks so much for being here today with us, Betsy. You actually answered so many questions that a lot of homeowners have about installing insulation in their homes. Now, where can we find more information on Isonine? Uh, well, we have a great website, isonine.com. So it's I-C-Y-N-E-N-E.com. Okay. And we have a tremendous amount of information for the homeowner. Thank you for schooling us today. I'm looking forward to some more restful sleep without allergies. Yes. Thanks, Isonine. <laughs>
I've always been involved with the Kidney Foundation. And my beautiful beauty, as we see here, I bought brand new. I drove it for a long time. My son Tim drove it for a long time, and he's going to go out in style. And it's got brand new tires on it, it's got a brand new battery, it's got everything on it, brand new. It's got black cherry inside leather, it's got black cherry outside, and uh, that's why we love it. I'm going to miss this car, but like I said earlier, I'm glad it's going out in style. Couldn't go on a better foundation. Hopefully we can have a higher profile of the Kidney Foundation's car program. And then also it would uh, raise funds, which is, let's face it, that's what all charities need is fundraising. And also it helps the environment. People just don't know what to do with all these old cars when they run their course. So I think it's, it wins for the environment too. So um, we call it like a, a, a hat trick in, in a sense. It's a triple win-win for everyone. I remember the doctor said, Tim's got to go on the dialysis. I, what the heck's the dialysis? And I remember one guy said, I've been on the dialysis for two years. Well, I said, that's good, because I'm like most people watching out here. They have no idea about dialysis. They have no idea. But when it hits your family, and it can hit any family, anybody standing around here now, can hit my family, can hit anybody's family. So make no mistake about it. Don't, just don't pass this off, think about this, uh, what I'm doing. And again, it's not so much the car, it's to make people aware of the Kidney Foundation. For information on the products featured on today's show, visit foryourlife.ca. Wow, what a show. I can't believe we've hit that much in half an hour. I know. If only I could do that in my day. Well, Brent, thanks to some helpful tips and informative pieces, you can't go wrong. Please join us next time for another inside look at some of the hottest products, trending causes, and helpful tips to keep you and your family safe, happy, and healthy. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, be sure to make the best choices for your life.